Yo, what up? Season 4 Strive is coming out in less than a week and they showed the Battle Balance update with all the characters in it, including Anji. And I like playing him. What's new with Anji? Two words, charged Fujin. Let's talk about the visuals first. The VFX for fully charged Fujin is significantly amplified. This is a neat change. Not only does it look awesome, but I'm willing to bet a good number of players thought this was a new move. So it's nice that they made these two moves very distinct. Or at least visually distinct. Let's talk about the gameplay. From the looks of it, Charged Fujin can now follow up into another Fujin. Whether or not he can do the follow up Fujin after an uncharged Fujin is up for debate. But personally, I don't think he can. If he could, ideally, you'd show it. But they didn't, so I believe the follow up is unique to Charged Fujin. There are two ways on how this could work. First, Charge Fujin has a unique follow-up Fujin, or Charge Fujin is special cancelable. But before I explain how it works, I'm going to explain why it works. Why they chose to give Anjay new Fujin follow-up, and what problems are they trying to solve. The first problem is his pressure is linear and predictable. If you block any of Anji's normals, the block string almost always ends with Fujin. Punch Fujin, Kick Fujin, Slash Fujin, and heavy slash Fujin. So up until now, all the opponent had to do is block. Once they block Fujin, they only need to worry about 5 options. If they block Nagiha, they can go for a 2k punish or take back their turn. Rin is both a punishable and reactable overhead. On top of that, if Anji has bar, it's the only way to make the move safe, making it more predictable. If you go for Shin, the opponent can jump attack or air throw because the fan itself doesn't have a hitbox. Fujin Hop is cheese! Don't do it, it's not worth it. I mean, at best it's a niche use or a badass read. But most of the time, Hop is used as a combo tool. And finally, Fujin with no follow up with you either trying to reset pressure or bait a reversal. If they block Fujin, they can go for a 2k punish, contest your reset, or take back their turn. Which leads to the second problem. His staggers and resets are reactable and punishable. Because Anji's normals have a lot of recovery, they're reactable and can't reset pressure as much. And his run speed is slow, so he can't threaten with strike throw resets either. And this is by design. Andre's frame data is balanced around the risk reward between his normals and his spin. But with the risk of throwing out an attack against Anji and zero threat to throws, this means the opponent has no reason to just block all day until Fujin comes out and easily react to fake resets. This leads to the third problem. You don't need to think about Anji's pressure. You can literally flowchart his pressure. Did you block Anji's attack? If yes, did Fujin come out? If not, take back your turn. If Fujin did come out, did you block it? Yes, because there's literally no reason to not block. Did the follow-up come out? If not, take back your turn. If it did, do the right punish. And this is all you need to beat Anji's pressure. On top of this, jumping beats 4 out of the 5 options that Anji can go for. Reen, Sheen, Hop, and Reset. So you don't even need to know the right punish, you just jump out. And I get that this doesn't work against high level Anji players, but if you're in high level fighting Anji, you know how to fight Anji. And this is where the new follow up comes in. The issue with Anji is that he's not very good at sticking onto the opponent. If the opponent knows how to block against Anji, his pressure becomes really simple to get out of. Anji's movement and normals aren't good enough for stagger pressure resets and strike throw resets, and it's by design. He's balanced around the risk reward between his slow normals and his auto guard spin. This new follow up gives Anji a new way to reset his pressure and allows a new layer of RPS. After the charged Fujin, if Anji goes for it again, you can throw it. If he goes for Fujin hop, he baits your throw and gets a punish. But if he goes for charged Fujin again, he cranks your risk and gets his free reset. And that's what the trailer was trying to show. The initial charged Fujin into the reset into the throw bait. I've also done some testing and it seems that charged Fujin into another charged Fujin catches jumps. So not only does it lock down the opponent, but it also solves the issue of jump speeding 4 out of the 5 Fujin options. This is awesome. This is a really elegant approach they made to fix Anji's current issues as well as making the move look sick. 
And if you're content with this information, you can leave the video now. Because this next section of the video is not based on any facts or truths, but rather strong desires and wishful thinking. Remember earlier when I said there are two ways this could work? The second option is that Charged Fujin is now special cancelable. This approach has all the same benefits as earlier, but with even more mental stack. New pressure sequences, new Oki setups, as well as new potential combo outs. But, that being said, like I said earlier, ideally if it can, you should show it. But they didn't, so I'm down to say it doesn't special cancel. As for my last guess in changes, with how much they sauced up the visuals, I'm willing to bet Charged Fujin has new properties on hit. Because, as of Season 3, landing a Charged Fujin is kind of underwhelming. You either get Reem, or a simple Nagiya combo. The same one you get with Uncharged Fujin. Maybe it can launch again like in Season 1. It was removed because reacting and hit confirming Charged Fujin into Hop during a pressure sequence was impossible too difficult, and so there was no reason to go for Charged Fujin outside of combos. Right now, Charged Fujin's only purpose is for combos, and being slightly less minus on block. Wow. Another cool idea I had is that his Charged Fujin can wall bounce like in Anji's reveal trailer, similar to his JD, but it probably doesn't because they literally show it not wall bouncing in the video. And that is everything. If you want to discuss more about Anji, join the Anji Discord server and have a discussion there. But before I go, I want to announce that I've made a cleaner remodeling of the Anji hat. I didn't really like how there were outline artifacts and how bulky it looked, so I'm leaving both versions of the hat on Game Banana. And as for me, I'm going to try and be more active on Twitter again, work on art, doing commissions again, and continue my game project. Again, the update is coming out in a few days. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys pretty soon.